it's growing together update time. Uh, but I didn't actually record this back when I played it because I think I lost my voice. I have this save that I haven't played since April 4th. And let me show you the household. This will be before Preston moves out. I think we're going to enter the save with an engaged Preston, but I'm not entirely sure. We shall see. Okay, so they live here uh, on this lot in Tinsquia. Oh, oh, and they're not all home. Preston is somewhere else. Let's see where Preston is. Okay, yeah, so Preston is here with his girlfriend. Girlfriend? Who are you? Soulmate. Okay, but what's your relationship? They're engaged. Okay, yeah, so this is right before I... I think I just married them right in front of our house. Oh, it's weird to look at this because I renovated it. Um, well, renovated. I changed it up a bit after they moved in together, so it's, like, kind of weird to look at it. And it's standard shape uh but let's head home and show you the state of things let's first take a look at the house it looks a little bit different now we have more photos on the wall they're just not organized we have a treadmill here now the playroom has less toys there's more stuff on frost and devices desks and on their wall there's more stuff on these walls too and on their desks well not ariana's desk really kitchen looks mostly the same living room has a piano now because someone wanted the piano scale i don't remember i removed that pesky old uh, scratching post that didn't even work this is what pepper's teen room looks like i know i made them tea rooms in the last video and those were with single beds, but then they started getting partners, so I got them double beds. So this is Preston's room. Tobias just out chilling, grilling. The graveyard looks like this. I moved the pets that died last time over here because uh, they were Rowan's pets, so I thought they would like live by her. Frost got this obelisk from work, so I put it here next to Eldrin, the garden pretty much looks the same. I don't think there's anything there to show you. I'm sorry if you just heard that car honk. Um, yeah, let's look at some stuff. Uh, so our job here is still an adult, I think. Yeah, barely. She is level 10 in the botanist career. These are her skills. Ooh, ah, she's mastered gardening, fitness, and logic. These are her traits. Cheerful, romantic, genius, family-oriented, top-notch infant, steel bladder, father, winter's baby, happy toddler, pack animal, good manners, observant, high self-esteem, never wary, naturalist, collector, and graduated high school early. These are her milestones. I don't know. I don't really know what to say about milestones. I wish that when I opened this, they were in order. But they're not. They're in category. I wish I could choose between- like, it says chronological order. But, like, they're not. She has a biology degree and a good reputation. On to Frost, who is in someone else's office right now. He's level 8 in the astronaut career. These are his traits. He hasn't mastered anything, but his biggest skill is programming. Highest skill, I guess. These are his traits. Ambitious, genius, family-oriented. Did I say that weird? I feel like it got scrambled in my mouth. Cheerful, top-notch infant, responsible, happy toddler, father winter's baby, pack animal, alluring, and graduated high school early. And for anyone who's concerned, our loving couple survived Tobias's uh, midlife crisis. Ariana is over here. She's level six in the mixologist career. These are her skills. She's mastered cooking and mixology. Her traits are clumsy, foodie, self-assured, genius, self-absorbed, and essence of flavor. Oh, forgot about his degrees and reputation. Yet he also has a good reputation. He's got more fame than Snowdrop. And uh, he has a computer science degree. Ariana has a neutral reputation. 
and a biology degree. On to Tobias, who's- oh, he's not grilling, he's washing the grill. Cleaning it? Brushing it? I don't know. He's level 7 in the tech career. These are his skills. He's mastered cooking, programming, and video gaming. His traits are geek, cat lover, perfectionist, ambitious, genius, neat, top-notch toddler, responsible, scouting aptitude, mentally gifted, webmaster, savant, and quick learner. Most of these uh, reward traits are from when he was a kid, and I have not played with him as anything younger than a young adult. I got him off the gallery. He's my friend Sim. I will leave my friend below so you can follow them. They make Sims videos sometimes, and I think they're lovely. I don't think I'm responsible for any... I'm, I'm responsible for Webmaster, because it's a uh, aspiration reward for the um, computer was aspiration. Sorry if you just heard my phone. He's a notable newcomer and almost level 2. So pretty. And he has a great reputation. On to Pepper, who I see aged up without doing skincare really wish the sims would fix that she is unemployed her skills are these guitar is her highest skill her traits are music lover cat lover family oriented high self-esteem top-notch infant responsible muser and graduated high school early and she has a neutral reputation here's preston he is a teacher level three these are his skills he's mastered logic his traits are pretty much the same as his uh, cousin. So music lover, loyal, cat lover, family oriented, high self-esteem, top-notch infant, responsible, muser, and graduate high school early, and he has a good reputation. Since he's engaged, I'll introduce you to his fiance. This is Camila Schumilker. And then last and least, or at least smallest, this is Nebbins. Uh, I like to do this thing where uh, when my pets die, I go into Cass and I make a version of the last two pets that I had um and like I, I put them in the into cast and then I play with genetics and make them a baby um so like this cat doesn't have any parents per se the game doesn't register this cat as having any family but Nebbins is a mix of Geppetto and Bea who we had in the last video who died in the last video and she's named after Aurora Nebbins from Dimension 20's Starstruck Odyssey. Yeah, so that's that's Nebbins. I think Nebbins is a girl. Aurora Nebbins is a girl. So I'm pretty sure that Nebbins is a girl, but I don't know. I kind of just use any pronouns for pets anyway. Like they don't they don't have a concept of gender in our language. Um, I think that's all there is to say today. Thanks for watching oh wait actually i'm gonna put these people on the gallery first uh i'm not gonna put them on the gallery right now but they'll be on the gallery when um approximately when this video comes out